All right, friends, happy Friday. It is starting to get dark. I got off early today and my hope was to get in one last hike because today is December 30th um, and it's oddly 60 degrees. So we are somewhere near Old Man's Cave. I will put the section point right here. I had some issues. I went to a place and I was ended up on a section of road and since the sun is setting, I didn't really want to do road section. Um, so I'm somewhere else and look at this. I found parking and it literally says Buckeye Trail parking here. That never happens. Um, so we are near, I think it's called Lake Logan. Show you guys, lake behind me. Um, so there's this lake, we're gonna walk up that way. The trail goes that way. Um, it also goes up this hill and this looks like a gravel road that I was on. So we're just going to walk about around here, see if we can get a couple miles in before it gets dark. I brought a headlamp, but I will be avoiding like main roads just cause it's dark, it's starting to get dark and I uh, want to make sure that I'm being safe. But I don't know if you guys can see the moon's out. It's so pretty. So uh, here we go. Let's get to it. All right, so this is the road I've been walking down. There's this really cool barn over there. I'm not sure if that's a house. Um, I got the lake over here to my right. It's actually a really pretty night. We're going to go up here to this stop sign and the trail goes along this road, I think, which goes around the lake. Um, the entire time I've been walking, I haven't seen a car. There is one down there, but I am going to do a little bit of walking on this road just to go up around the lake a bit. Um, you know, I drove kind of a bit to get out here, so I just want to make the drive worth my while. Also, so many geese. <laughs> but yeah. Not a bad way to spend December 30th getting a couple miles in. So we are at Lake Logan, it says beach, bucket trail, whoop whoop. So the bucket trail is that way. So I got up here and the trail doesn't really go very far around the lake. So I'm already heading back towards my car to kind of go up a hill and go the other direction. There's lots of like weird little houses around here. Um, it says this park is open until 11. So I'm gonna go up this hill. Um, the street kind of looks more like a gravel street with just a couple houses. So I feel better about walking up there than I do on this busy street while it's dark. So that's where we're at. Um, we are just under a half mile in, so. It's getting darker by the minute. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see this, but here's our blaze. It's so hard to see it. It's only five o'clock. Well, it's 540, but yeah, pretty dark already. I'm walking up this little hill. I mean, if you can even tell, so winded, so out of hiking shape, um, but yeah. Feels good, feels good to be out here. I think this is just a street with houses. Um, it said it was a dead end, so maybe it dead ends at woods. Who knows? I'm pissing lots of people's dogs off, so <laughs> there's that. So somebody's dogs is not very happy with me, but pretty cool. Some signage. It's too dark for you to read it. This portion of the Buckeye Trail is dedicated to W. M. S. Miller. Oops. Very angry dogs. Sorry, dogs. So I'm literally walking next to the angry dogs, but this is all Buckeye Trail. Bloom blaze, blue blaze. Kind of feels like I'm the back of somebody's property, which feels weird. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Because there's somebody's house, and here's a fence. So, 
I'll keep on doing what we do. Sorry, people. I wish it wasn't so dark. There's this little teepee guy here. There's his face. He's got another little face. Still the back of this house. I feel really bad. It's only 540, but it feels like I'm in somebody's yard. Okay, well, I have decided to turn around because the section is very close to people's house. All their dogs are out, not on leashes. And it's kind of dark, so I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be. But I've clearly pissed off all of the dogs in this neighborhood. So <laughs> we're gonna walk back down the hill to my car. And uh, barely a mile and a half today, but sometimes that is what it is. So, wah wah. Okay. Here's where we're at. I was walking back there along those trees. I was back behind this house and their dog started barking at me. So I'm trying a new approach. I'm walking down this like gravel road, which technically isn't part of the trail, but I feel way better about this option. So I'm gonna walk down to the end of the road, see what's down there, see if maybe I can cut across a yard that doesn't have a dog <laughs> and see if the trail picks up a little bit down there. Um, it's pretty dark, but I feel really good. Very warm. It's still like 58, 59. So I want to get a little more walking in. So nonetheless, I'm kind of doubling back over what I just did. Technically the trails back that way. So plus angry dogs up here. All right. Not sure how great this video is going to be. And I can't show you where I am, but I walked to the end of the street and there was a house. There was a guy pulling into the driveway and uh, he was really nice. He told me that I could walk up behind his house and he didn't have a dog. And he also said that his neighbor is never home. So um, that's where I ended up. It looks like it went into like woods woods. And as you can tell, it's very dark. Gone a little, almost a mile and a half. 1.34 um so that's where i'm gonna turn around it's too dark i don't know if maybe if i did one light it would be better um but yeah it's got my headlamp on i'm gonna walk past all of the barking dogs um get back to my car and um chalk this up <laughs> to the last hike of a uh, 2022 on the bucket trail all right friends i made it back to the car. It's probably one of the shortest hikes and sections I've done on the Buckeye Trail. Um, it was nice to get outside. I don't know how often you go. I haven't gone on very many hikes in December where I'm just wearing a sweatshirt and, you know, leggings. So we will be thankful for that. Thankful we got to check out a new section. Thankful this area was well marked because the first section that I tried to do today uh, was not well marked and it was all roads. So it was kind of just exploring figuring things out um with that being said it was kind of a weird section uh with like walking behind the people's houses it did look like at the end it picked up um and you could like walk through the woods uh there was another section that was like a mile away like a section marker um i might try to scope that out next time and try walking this way just so i don't disturb everybody um it felt really good to get out there i wish that i had more light because i totally would keep going it felt so good um but yeah, that is a wrap on the hiking season for 2022. Hopefully 2023, one of my resolutions is to do as much of the Buckeye Trail as I can. Um, do some overnights. I got some stuff uh, to start finishing out the Subaru. Um, we have some national park trips coming up. I think the next thing that'll be coming up on the vlog is a Mammoth Cave trip in February. So keep your eyes peeled and as usual, happy hiking.